Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we got a treat for you today. This is a, I know it's very hard to see with all the jazz going on, TCL. Not TLC, Rap Skitty, it's TCL TV. It's got an issue. Isolation transform, plugged in. We're going to give it some zippity juice. Bobbing, got the light here. If you can see. It's brutal. Everything's brutal. Nothing's working. Anyways, light right there. We'll give it a push. Oh. Yeah, that might be the issue. So, anyways, here's what we got. Well, we're drawing 13 watts, too. Now, hit it, power it back down. Try that again. What is that? Power off. Okay, um, is what we got with an issue. Whoa, back on. Maybe I gotta hold it longer. Maybe I'm impatient. Let me try this one more time. It's off. Turn it on. It's dead. Zero point zero. Now 5.3 watts, and we do have a little light down here. Again, that's just run that simple little tiny little power supply that's sitting there all the time waiting for some signal to kick in that when it senses that signal through the infrared, it flips the relay and that's what kicks on the power, the main power for the TV. So you're probably talking like a little five volt supply going on here right now inside the TV. Yes, mains is hooked up to it, but it's drawing right now six watts as it's not working with just this little light going and a little internal uh, setup that's connected right off of it to a relay. Once it you hit the button, it finishes that contact. You go, and then the big power basically flips the switch and kicks it on. So like we're gonna do now, by hitting the button, we're actually turning it on. No, no remote with it, so. Hit the button, boom, it comes on. And just to note, it went up to uh, 29.1 watts. Let's see if uh, this changes anything. Sometimes you get these shorted out and uh, you can see them like flashing in that. Um, it does, it seems, oh, you can even see it, uh, see it pick, them, pick up these lines. I don't know how good that shows the lights are right over. It's kind of brutal. Anyways, 29, 29 watts. So it's pretty much junk. We're not going to find the screen. The screen for it to replace it is not even worth what the TV is worth. So we're going to kibosh it. But there is a good side of this, especially for someone like me, and especially the way things are nowadays. Parts are tied up, getting hard to find, getting tough getting even the right ones and if they're real parts or fake parts or really fake parts you don't know what do you trust well this right here we take the screen basically out throw it because it's garbage and we know we just pretty much tested well I could hook up the audio in that but it was given to me I already know that I, that all works so everything else works you know so even if I strip the boards down with capacitors and everything else, we'll see what kind they got. I'm betting it ain't nothing too fancy, but we will find out real quick. And uh, at least you know you got some good quality, at least something working, we'll say. Well, quality will, I don't know, never heard of TCL. That don't mean they're bad, don't mean they're good. It's just, I don't know. That's, that's lacking on my end, not anyone else's end. Where? Yeah, hello. There we go. All right, now we're, we're out of the gates. We're firing. We're so how's everybody doing? A long winter. The winters just hammer me. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's so hard. It's just brutal on me. Uh, just wears me out. I have a hard time just getting through half a day without resting. Just brutal. Uh, but warm back up and uh, get a little pep to the stuff so figured I'd tear into this see what happens see what kind of video and mischief we can make so I'll at least get it busted open quick break it down for you so you guys can take a look at it and it'll fit inside the, uh, the camera a little better because right now it's not very optimal and there's not a whole lot I can do about it I can't back it out anymore 
And, uh, yeah, I understand that I suck at that, but that's what I do. I suck at it. I am brutal with the camera. It's hard enough to focus for me on what's in front of me, and then on top of that, with the camera, and if I'm in the way of it, and if it's shooting in the right spots, and zoomed, I mean, it's, I have such a hard time with that. But that's why I am doing these, is so I can get better at that, too. Because it, if I don't I let it get better, it's probably gonna get worse. So why not try to, uh, try to head it off, right? Head it right off. Send it in the ditch. So yeah, hopefully uh, spring is near. Very near, I hope. Oh, yay, yay, yo, yo, whoa. That one's, uh, noisiest. This thing works pretty darn good. Uh, TCL, and that is a, uh, conforms to US STD. It really says that. UL STD. Intertech 3092540. I just want to find a model number for anyone. Contains. B -b -b. Model 328301. 328301 for anyone uh, taking notes or needing parts. Um, I'll look. I'll take a look online. I know some people try to sell the boards. You know, we'll see what we got. We know we got well. We got backlights that are working, so that's bonus there. Uh, to, you're gonna have your drivers for your backlights. Some type of driving board, some buffer board, something like that. You're gonna have your audio and your audio uh, little amplifier circuit. Your conversion circuit because you do have HDMI. I highly doubt this is 4K. I guarantee you that it isn't in fact, but um, and you do have the uh, oh you have three three HDMIs coming in. So that's kind of cool. Okay, that I believe that is gonna be connected right to the uh, supply itself. Alright, which one of these did not want to go? Was it this one? These are, uh, every one of them you take apart, it seems they're a little bit different too. As many parts as I have for these, each one is always a little different than the last one. There's no, uh, no rhyme or reason to each one. It's kind of always an adventure, I guess you could say. See, I imagine this somehow is holding in what's going to be your basically your data transition board which is your audio hdmi video all that coming in then it's going to have a you know processing chip in that and it's gonna make sure everything's compatible uh you can see also here one two three four these are going to be for mounting, for wall mounting it, you know, so the TV can uh, pan and tip and everything. Say it's a bar TV, you know, you can have it stretch out and tip and all that good stuff for viewing. And actually, once they get open, got one stubborn one here. I'll show you how, uh, how that's attached to the mainframe, as you could say. It's probably not, in fact, the way it's looking. All right, we do have a connection right here. It's just gotta push the clip. It's got a little tang on it that's got it locked in. We'll just get it unhooked, and that's just to our, like I said, our switch. Oh, here's our speakers, too. They all go into this board. This was the light on the bottom that was lighting up. And no, it's just actually all the plastic. The, so your mounting is right here and do them sit right on the back I mean if they don't you'd figure it would be like over time it would get because that's yeah wouldn't you 
I mean, I know you're like right there and you're just hanging, but like, man. Yeesh. 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 Yeah, well, they know more than I do. You can tell that by what they wear, how they dress. Of course you can. Oh, we got our power supply here. Uh, here we have, is this a Wi-Fi module? What is this? Yeah, Wi-Fi port. Wow. Oh, cool. Yeah, save that for certain. And these are getting just smaller and smaller. Here's your buffer board. This is what I mean. So here's your buffer board. This is your da data. I'd say like basically the, the old styles, they call it like T-Con, but this is going to be uh, kind of everything pushed into one. Here's your power supply, and here's your mains end right here. Make sure everyone can see. Yeah, right there, mains end. Oh, yeah, that's right. I went big time. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Right there. That barely even shows up. Jeez, how pathetic. So pathetic. So, well, right off the bat, we know that the power supply is working, too. Okay, that's got an antenna on it. Let's use a nest for the antenna. So, what is this? Uh, isolated off of the metal? Or is it using the metal to... Oh, yeah, it is isolated off of the metal. Kind of some really um, foamy, sticky tape. Almost, you could say, holding it down. There it goes. That's just the antenna. Somehow that's making an antenna. And that's high frequency, so it's at uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz or 5. It probably even says right on the little uh, module here, Wi-Fi module. I imagine. These things are definitely cool. Uh, whether I'd ever be able to program it, I have no idea. I never programmed a Wi-Fi module. However, with my Arduino and that setup, I was just looking the other day at, uh, I think once my brother's kids get a little more uh, toward the age where they can really understand and maybe really jump in and want to grasp this stuff, um, I might really take hold of the Arduino whole setup to show them the whole programming world. So they could grasp right onto it because if I do it myself, I'll I'll do it and yeah, that's great. And if I don't keep up with it, it'll all be gone within a couple weeks. It's uh just the way that my memory is just brutal. Again, it then it used to be like that. It just slowly start happening. So that was popped in there, ladies. I'll save the little bracket right. No, nah, it's just an offset, really. It's kind of protecting it. Yes, it can. And any gigahertz. Uh, FCC ID, that's how you always know. Now, I wonder if you can go backwards through the FCC ID in that to find Made in China. And find what you need to program it up and everything. I wonder if that's possible. Now I know you can do that with, that's actually a trick to get to some boards, maybe schematics in that, some help with the schematics uh, to look up the FCC ID, the patent number, stuff like that, if you can find something that's patented and posted. Um, I haven't had much luck with it, but I, I hear that that is a way to do it. Now that's probably just on my end, to be honest with you. This is it. That's our backlights right there. Boom. You got to be kidding me. So is it going to be like one, two, or is it going to be like one, two, three strips, do you think? I still think the coolest one was just one strip like this. And all it did is went and shone down this like light bar, like light pipe, right? You've seen the, uh, it's plastic that's almost clear. And you can shine plastic, uh, yeah, shine a light 
the color into it here and where the end is cut off you can see it perfectly right there the color the light basically um, however this one did the opposite it's shown it into the 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 we'll say sty like styrene ish I mean it was like fluted but it lit the way it did it was awesome it lit the whole back and all it was doing is they were just tilted to face that way they just shot it that way and in this it was about a uh, heavy eighth inch thick I would say um, like I say it looked like styrene styrene um, it definitely wasn't though it was uh, a cross like between that and uh, just hard plastic hard um, what do you call it? like like flexi plexiglass yeah but it had little like columns that you could almost kind of see and that's the the tracks that the light ran down and somehow it was uh, emitting as it went down through evenly also which was more impressive I mean very very neat and I always seen that once ever and you figure like that would be so much easier than having to run all these oh I should be careful um, with how I handle especially the power supply we probably have capacitor that is tuned up here especially that big one the big bulk capacitor here uh, we could put my you could put a resistor across it something you know like uh, I do honestly like 100 ohms you can go that that can pop a little bit make it spark uh, this is a bulb out of a microwave I like to do that that way if it's there's a lot of charge I'll actually know because I'll see the light flicker quick let's see here I mean, you can see a resistor right there, probably right next to it. It's probably, uh, what is that? Two, two, ooh, that's a, it's very small. Orange, orange, so, what, O, R, or Roy, R, O, Y. Orange, yellow, so three. 33, and, but it's silver, so it's 3.3, I believe. 